we can use a 1 liter thermos to test compost maturity. The instructions and the outcome are similar as for the Dewar self-heating method, except that it uses a readily available and much less expensive container. I have friends and colleagues that are composting in smaller and remote communities where access to resources or the distance to a laboratory are challenges. There are advantages to be able to test maturity right on site. I put together a two-page instruction sheet, the first being the instructions, with supplemental notes on the second. The procedure is as follows. First, take a representative sample of the compost. This can be done either after mixing the pile of compost or taking a composite of at least five subsamples. Second, screen the compost using a 5 to 10 millimeter or quarter to 3 8 inch screen. The larger woody bits don't do much for you and they can get stuck in the 1 liter thermos. Typically, the compost is screened before using it or selling it anyways. Third, measure moisture content, which can be done using the simple toaster oven method. If the moisture content is less than 40%, add water to increase the moisture content to at least 45% using a simple formula as described in the instructions. If the moisture content is more than 60%, the compost may be sticky and lumpy and you may not get accurate results. I have yet to try measuring maturity with composts having greater than 65% moisture. Fourth, allow the microbes in the compost to equilibrate in a controlled environment at 18 to 22 degrees Celsius for about 24 hours. I suggest covering the container with a piece of cardboard to reduce moisture loss. Fifth, after the 24 hour equilibration period, Add compost to the 1 liter thermos. It has a small neck, so it takes a bit of patience. A 2 liter thermos works just as well and has a wider opening, but it's a bit more money. Tap the thermos gently when the compost gets near the top to allow the compost to settle some. Fill the thermos to the top, then insert the temperature probe to within 3 to 5 centimeters or 1 to 2 inches from the bottom. I use a Max Min thermometer with the sensor taped onto the bottom of a 30 cm or 12 inch Rio Temp thermometer. Keep the 1 liter thermos in the 18 to 22 degrees Celsius environment for up to 10 days. You normally will have results in 5 days or less, but in some cases where the compost has been really dry or it's been a fast and hot composting process, the microbes may need longer to adjust. If the temperature of the compost increases more than 5 degrees Celsius above ambient, it's not mature. I've learned a lot since we first wrote the compost facility operator manual almost 20 years ago. The rapid maturity test method using a cooler doesn't work. The simple closed bag method has limitations because smell is not necessarily a good indicator of maturity. More about smell and compost maturity in the next video. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.